What's up Auto 3 Garage? Welcome back to a new video. As you can see, I am constructing a new tool cabinet for my tools to place them somewhere neatly. I'm tired of losing my tools left and right or misplacing them and not having them right there when I need it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to construct a low budget tool cabinet, toolbox, or whatever you wanna call it uh, in a bit. So let's get into it guys. So guys, as you can see, I have three compartments for my needs. Uh, I feel like all my tools should be fitted in there and it will be placed in neatly. I never know, I might need more room. You might need more room if you wanna construct something like this yourself. This is basically like a simple plastic drawer, something I was not using, so I wanted to make it uh, useful. I didn't wanna go buy Lowe's or any thing like that which we finna go out in a few uh to get some little stuff but i can show you like other toolboxes and stuff but enough for that so i want to place like little um boxes down here or little something little stuff that could be able to fit down there i know the first thing i want to do i want to place some wheels on the bottom so it can uh so i can push it around a little bit so i'm gonna have you you're gonna see the construction of me doing that I'm gonna have wheels on the bottom and I wanna repaint this having like a two-tone uh, type of paint. I don't know, probably like blue and black or green and red. I'm not sure. I don't know what type of uh, uh, crazy color combo, but it had to be something. Um, this is like the front piece I'm gonna end up painting uh, separately. Maybe this be blue. I also put like a metal top on here uh, just to give it like, I guess a little vibe, but this is how it's looking right now. Do a little spin around. Yeah. What I'm thinking about uh, putting on the side is uh, some receptacles um, and having like a um, a power cord. You know them uh, multiple receptacles that like you get plug in more than one thing. I'm gonna have that like on the side so I can be able to plug stuff uh, up from here. I thought about doing like a uh, a light strip, maybe like a light inside here. We don't know. But first thing first, we need to go ahead and go to Lowe's, go probably to Harbor Freight, get some couple stuff. I'm not gonna be able to construct it probably today, probably like Friday or Saturday uh, morning, but whenever the video come out, I mean, you will see, but it's gonna be broken. So, so let's go over the list. I'm gonna go over it one more time. So we just need four wheels. We need like some mat, some matting. I don't know how you would say that. Some padding uh, inside here so the tools won't be moving around and stuff uh, like that. And I'm thinking about building like sections where it might be later down the road, as long as I can have the tools nicely uh, put away and uh, neat, we'd be good. We're gonna need some paint and probably a scotch pad so we can clean it up. Um, I'm not gonna be able to put everything on today, but as long as we got the materials and stuff, we are good. I'm, I know I'm gonna end up painting, so I'm gonna paint today, uh, see how it turned out and just go from there. Let's go. So I'm at Hobbit Freight. This is a tool box for 239 and so forth, which is not bad. probably get one, I don't know, for my birthday or something like that. But we're doing something temporary. I might not get one no time soon, I don't know. Basically, I'm just seeing the construction. I'm gonna need some pattern like this. It should be some pattern or something like this. That's a nice one though, I like this color right here. I could buy it right now, but I'm not. <laughs> Good budget. I just need some wheels, something like this. Wheels and pattern. So I want to go with this because the low capacity is 150, but like I said, I'm going to be putting that much stuff in there, which is 100 pounds uh, for the other one. So actually, these I had to them down in there. So I'm thinking about getting these. And being that, like, I don't got no concrete on my carport or anything right now, uh, I think it best, you know, be 
use this setup so I can be able to uh, move easily. So I'm gonna go with this. You gotta find some boats for it. Okay, you guys, so to construct what I need to construct on uh, the toolbox cabinet, or whatever you wanna call it, I got the liner, uh, the pattern I was talking about that go inside the drawers. So we're gonna probably construct that. And we also gonna paint uh, one part green, the other one uh, black. So it's gonna be like a black and green thing. We got a scotch pad so we can, you know, scuff the uh, surface. And then, of course, you know, the metal piece I'm putting on top, I'm going to put uh, this gorilla around. And then I'm going to put it like on the back side. I'm going to have some screws uh, that go in. I got some washers and I got some nuts. And then, of course, I got these wheels. And all of this cost me 81 bucks. As you can see, I got it's 34 use 40. That's about everything. Uh, the most expensive stuff was at Harbor Freight. I just got these wheels and this liner and stuff, which costed 47 bucks compared to these two spray cans, uh, the Scotch Pad, the Gorilla the Grip, and that. It's kind of crazy, but hey, that's what we got. So I'm going to start with something. So let's continue. So the first thing I'm doing is painting the front cover of the drawers. Um, I already uh, scuffed it down with a scotch pad, cleaned it off. Now I'm finna spray it with some uh, green paint. I might show you what I got. Got this bad boy right here. So we gonna go with it. Let's get to it. Okay, don't be like that. I was trying to get some. Don't be like that. You gotta miss it, my fault. Let me stop recording. Uh, let me uh, put the first coat down. So as you see, we got the first coat down. I'm gonna let this dry while I'm doing the padding. Let's go. Now I'm going to do the liner. As you can see, we're gonna make it fit in here. We're just gonna do it to the other two boxes. That's pretty much it. Let's go. So I have the first half in. I'm going to glue it down. I don't know. Uh, if I'm going to use like super glue or anything like that, I don't know what I'm going to use, but I'm going to have something to glue it down. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I did as best as I could. don't look bad at all. Probably got to trim it up just a hair and just glue it down. But that's pretty much it, though. That's all I'm doing uh, for the inside so the tools can stay in place. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, go back to painting. So guys, I'm gonna give you uh, one more on the covers for the drawers. I can't even say drawers, drawers, I don't know. But anyway, like I said, I'm just uh, painting it and then I'm gonna do the whole piece black. So I ain't gonna record that, but I'm basically painting. And then uh, probably the next day, I'm gonna end up putting the wheels in and uh, mounting that metal piece on top and also that um plug in so i can uh plug in like a couple of things on the side of this uh toolbox which is going to be pretty cool which you will see so see you so guys as you can see i have it painted so it's looking amazing right now, as you can see. Only thing we have to do is just put these wheels on the bottom side. I want to paint this black so it can like, you know, match up. So I might end up painting this black. Uh, like I said, I got this um, blue right here. I'm gonna put on the underside of it so this can like set, you know, as you can see. This work with uh, metal, wood, everything. So we're gonna do that. But this was an eighty-one dollar, probably a hundred. Uh, I don't know what was the actual price, but I had this for months. My brother had this, but he wasn't doing nothing with it. So I ended up taking it, and I wasn't doing nothing with it. So I say, why not turn it into a toolbox? You know, I think that's a good idea, and I might do more things uh, like this. But I uh, can't wait till we put the wheels on and let it start rolling and stuff. But like I said, it's gonna be on the, the dirt. I don't got no concrete uh, on under my 
carport yet. But anyway, I was thinking about, I wish the stud was longer on the west end. I really didn't paint the back, so I still got to finish the stud. I ran out of paint. But anyway, I wanted to put the wheel through this and have like a metal brace uh, running across it so I can give it like more sturdiness. But I'm gonna end up putting a wheel right here because I, I, it's still strong. I'm gonna have a washer anyway, so I'm gonna put one right there, there, and then on the uh, back side. And this thing gonna be sturdy. But y'all, look at the finish on it. It got a little drippy, and I'm not even done. I gotta probably take the cover off and get like the other side. But it started to drip. I think I sprayed too much, but it's not bad at all. And it had kind of rained on me too. While I was letting it dry, so I had to like kind of clean the surface up again and redo it. But man, this thing looking glorious. Once again, the black. The black, look at that. And what I want to do is have this on the side right here. So it's basically going to probably be like this underneath, uh, hiding, but that's going to be pretty, uh, cool. And I want to do like a light strip underneath or whatever. So it can like have like a glow. So it's going to be pretty cool, but that's it guys. So hopefully Friday or Saturday I can get the wheels on. Well, as a matter of fact, it's gonna be later because I don't have my tools and stuff. So I gotta get my tools from my work truck and then I can slap everything off. I got drill bits and stuff. I can uh, drill the holes through and all that. But give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Like I said, I'll see you tomorrow or Saturday. Today is Thursday. Really pleased with it. Let's go. You can do it yourself too. Peace. So what's up, YouTube? I got it outside. As you can see, I got the wheels on, but I am not pleased. This is like a plastic uh, cabinet. It's not metal. So probably I might take these wheels off and just have it sitting. But it mean it rolls around and stuff. Don't get me wrong. But. Uh, to reinforce this, I'm gonna need to probably put like a metal plate across just to reinforce it uh, Some type of way, but I mean it spins and stuff like it's supposed to but I got the four wheels in uh, each corner But this plastic is flex is flexing and stuff So it's called an insta foot. So if I had like a metal plate it give it like more reinforcement uh, I had a, a drill out um a uh, little section so I can have like little space right here. So I'm gonna just clean this up, make it look neater or something. Um, but uh, I'm pleased with it, this is it. You gonna see, I gotta get that uh, top part painted and uh, put on and then we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna put everything in there neatly and you're gonna see it after. So let's get to it. So guys, you don't have to necessarily glue this down if you want to. I said I was gonna glue it down, but I'm just gonna place it in here for right now. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I'm just place all my tools in here neatly. You will see I'm um, painting the metal piece right now, which will go over the top. And uh, we go from there. Unless she like a beauty. And I'm putting decals on here too. Like, I love decals and stuff. After I come from like a place or something, or just because I like decals, I get them. That's why. But you're going to see once again before and then after. Also, I want to put like a receptacle on the side. Um, you know, with multiple ones on there. I forgot what they call them. But anyway, um, so I can plug up stuff. Uh, from the thing basically gonna be mounted right here. So I'll be able to plug and stuff. And I wanna do like an LED strip around too. Um, so it can like light up and stuff, which is gonna be pretty cool. And probably inside too, put like some uh, power lights inside uh, so I can have it lit up. So that's gonna be dope. Well, this is like a $500 box. 
Yeah. So guys, this is the finished product. Man, it looked good. It looked like a $500 cabinet, to be honest. But only thing I did is just slap a piece of metal on there, uh, got some liner, uh, which is this right here for the inside, and just painted it, that's pretty much it. But the only issue I'm really having is, um, being that this is plastic, uh, it's causing it like the warp and all that as you can see right here so i might need to get like a piece of metal or something like to uh, reinforce like the bottom side i might take the wheels off and just drop it down um because i might just this really gonna be sitting right here i just need something to organize my tools and straighten them up and all that and have everything with me even though everything gonna get messed back up but long as you know tools ain't on the ground and getting buried or anything uh that's a good sign so tell me what you think Give this video a thumbs up, a likes, and I really appreciate it. And also, I want to put like a receptacle uh, on the side, uh, the ones that have multiples on, uh, multiple receptacles, put it on the side here so I can plug everything up and possibly put like a LED stri uh, light strip there where it's be hidden and then like a light inside there. So that's gonna be pretty dope. Peace.